Did you realize that some dietary supplements have hidden pharmaceuticals? In a recent study involving 776 different nutritional supplements, there were found unapproved drugs in these supplements. So I listed four different drugs, so you can just identify if if these ingredients are in your products, so you can avoid them. But one of them is actually in Viagra, which has quite a few side effects. Another one is an antidepressant, and it's used for premature ejaculation. I mean, the last thing you want is to buy a supplement and realizing that you're taking an antidepressant, right? I mean, who knows what the side effects are for that. Now, as a side note, if you have problems with libido, um, the best natural supplement to improve that situation is zinc. And then we have the category of appetite suppressants, okay? There are so many people that buy supplements to help with weight loss that have various drugs in them, and they don't even know it. I mean, the first drug in the list was something that the government removed in 2010, but many weight loss supplements still contain that drug. Listen, if you're trying to lose weight or you have an appetite, it's the easiest thing in the world to fix. All you have to do is get on healthy keto and do intermittent fasting. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below. And you're not going to be hungry all day long as well. Now, in this next category, there are two antidepressants that they add in weight loss products. So apparently, I guess if you're no longer depressed, you're going to maybe lose weight. I don't know why they put those in there. But if you are depressed, the best remedies, vitamin D, okay, at least 10,000 I use, and fasting. Both of those together great for depression. All right, in the next category, we have the anti-anxiety drugs, okay? This one is put in certain brain enhancers, okay? There's, there's quite a few of them out there that typically help you with memory, focus, concentration. Make sure it doesn't have this drug in it. All right, in the next category, um, there are four different stimulants that are used in muscle building and fat burning. So if you are on any products that are designed to, you know, help you burn fat or build muscle, make sure that these are not on the list. And as far as a supplement for muscle building, I would recommend some sleep aid, okay? Because the more sleep you have, the more repair, and most of the growth hormone is activated at night, not during the day. And so if you're trying to build muscle and you're not sleeping, it's not going to work because that's where all the magic happens. That's where all the recovery happens. That's where you actually grow muscle. Okay. And then the last category has to do with muscle relaxants. There are two drugs that are commonly used for problems with your muscles as well as arthritis. A much better approach would be to take some magnesium and for if it's arthritis, apple cider vinegar. Because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content. And there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side.